Hello everyone, my name is Raven, and welcome to Raven67854 Gaming, and uh, welcome back to another Left 4 Dead 2 tutorial. It's been a couple days, needed a slight break, um, but I'm back at it, and we're going to start off with a relatively quick and short uh, tutorial on, you know, some common problems that people run into when they're working inside of Hammer, and I just want to preface with this with, it's okay to run into these issues, it happens to everyone, I did it when I was first learning uh you know hammer like 10 15 years ago so no biggie um so the first one is is your interface being all kind of messed up and i'm going to try to just drag this over and drag this down and basically what happens is is people have messaged and they're like hey you know my interface is all kind of you know wonky and i've like dragged it around so i could see but i want it to go back well that's really easy you can hit control a and it'll automatically resize you can also go up here to view and you can select auto size for views. The other issue that uh, seems to happen a lot is the 3D viewport. Uh, people will accidentally change it either to the top view or the front view or the right view. And, you know, that's obviously looks very different than what I have. Uh, or, you know, it'll be in like wireframe view, for example, um, which is cool, but. Uh, not very helpful, you know? Uh, well, it's helpful, but not necessarily what I have in, in the tutorials. And, you know, I get it. So what you want to do is when you want to change the viewport, uh, you want to make sure that you've last clicked in that viewport. It's not where your cursor last was. It's wherever you last clicked. So, like, if we click here and we change it to filled polygons, for example... It is now filled polygons, and I'm inside of a polygon there. I'm going to go back into here. And then I'll go back into view, and I'll set it to 2D XY, which will put it back at the top. And then I'll click in the 3D viewport, and I'll set it back to, say, textured polygons. And so there you have it. These are, believe it or not, the most common questions um, that I have. And another one is, uh, I've gotten this one a couple times. So when you have the selection can actually drag out a uh, a brush with the selection tool. And it creates, well, it doesn't actually create anything. What it's doing is, is it's selecting everything. And that does seem to confuse people, and I can 100% see why. So, you know, if you drag this out and then, you know, make it cover most of the level and hit Enter, well, it'll just select everything. Um, so do make sure that, you know, you look on the left there and make sure you're on the right one. Uh, one good way to tell is when you're in the selection tool, you'll notice that it looks like so, and you do not see it in the 3D viewport. I don't believe I've never noticed that before. And if you hit escape, you can cancel it. But if we go into shift B, you'll notice that rather than having a yellow da uh, dashed outline, uh, it has a white and it shows up inside of the 3D viewport. So that's how you know you're in the brush tool. Okay, everyone. So that's that's it for the first part of, you know, common mistakes that people are making and uh, how to, you know, get around them and correct them and so forth. I will see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe and hit that little bell if you like this channel and want to, you know, follow along and get all those good old updates. As well, uh, if you'd like to support the channel, you can become a member by either hitting the join button or one of the links in the description, and your support is greatly appreciated. And as I said at the beginning, if you have any issues with like anything at all, or you just want to come hang out with other people that are also making Left 4 Dead maps, feel free to join the Discord. You're always welcome, and have a good one, and I'll see you all in the next one.